This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Overdrive is a completely open source, self-destructing USB drive I developed. It's made for security researchers and journalists working in dangerous countries. The previous video outlines the design and build of Overdrive. I was shocked at the community response and grateful for the interest. To say my thanks, I'll be giving away five devices to the community. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment below. In the previous video, I couldn't quite get the drive working as a mass storage device, but there have been some major developments since then, and I'm excited to update everybody. I believe one of the connections was incorrect between the USB controller and the flash memory. Unfortunately, this connection was entirely routed underneath both of those chips. So I actually needed to depopulate the USB controller and strike the traces. Then I had to put this chip back on and bend its leads up, fly wires to that, and then connect those back to the flash memory. When I powered it up, that didn't really work at all, so it was kind of back to the drawing board. I started googling around and I found this sketchy Russian website. There was a tool on it called the SMIMP tool. Everyone in the comments section was talking about drive recovery, so I figured this would be a good place to start. I fired up the Windows VM and was greeted with one of the most horrible GUIs I've ever used in my life. After several hours of trial and error using this application, I wasn't really getting anywhere, so for some reason I decided to try a Windows XP virtual machine. For some reason this actually worked. Why? No more questions. I then stressed the device with various Linux tools to check the flash fidelity. All things seem to be working. I then added an additional 47 microfarads worth of capacitance and activated the destruction circuit. This worked like a charm and smoked out the flash. The next revision of the board will be able to fit this capacitance rate on the board. Alright, at this point I can confidently say that I've built a self-destructing USB drive. As for the destruction method itself, I've gotten a lot of feedback on the finger licking method. Although hilarious, water ingress, sweaty fingers, and obvious electrodes make it unideal. The next revision will be protected by a different method. If the drive is rapidly plugged in three times within a second, the data will be presented normally, otherwise it will be destroyed. I think this is a much more discreet and robust solution. This version is already complete, thanks to PCBWay. They provided the boards, assembly, and even the parts. This is the first time I've used them, and I'm impressed with their speed and quality. As for the project itself, there's a link below for a crowd supply campaign. It should be going live within the next month. If you're not lucky enough to win a device from this video, you can pick one up there. Thanks very much, and happy hacking.